How did you get your start in music? Um, when I was, I just turned six years old and I started taking piano lessons because we had gotten like this old upright at a garage sale for like my uh, siblings when they would come into town because they knew a little bit. Um, and then my sister and I just wanted to take lessons because we wanted to be like, you know, older brother, sister. So what instruments do you play and what genre of music do you enjoy most or identify most with? Oh man, uh, so I play piano um, and then like a little bit of a you know, keyboard, harpsichord. play a little bit of saxophone. I don't know. I play a little bit of saxophone and guitar, but I don't really feel like I know either of those instruments well enough to say that. How did you get your start? Um, I, I think you had a band in high school, correct? Yes. So there was a, tell me about that. So there's this program. Actually, this is, this is like a full circle thing that happened. Um, there's this program in Omaha called Blues Ed. Mm -hmm which is part of the Blues Society of Omaha. And they have uh, local blues musicians and different musicians from in town kind of act as uh, clini clinicians for a bunch of young musicians. I think it's ages like 12 to 18. Yeah. You're put in a group, you get taught, you know, the basics of blues, you're assigned songs to learn. The cool thing for me, I mean, this will probably come back later, uh, is Ron Cooley, the guy who um, auditioned me when I first joined Blue Zed, is the same guy that got me the gig that I now have uh, playing for Mannheim Steamroller. So how did you get your start with Mannheim Steamroller? Well, so I did the Blue Zed program um, until I graduated high school. And during that time, I also started gigging with like uh, three other guys in a jazz quartet. And we had written some of our own music and recorded stuff. And so we got a lot of practice working doing that stuff. Meanwhile, I was still uh, playing classical piano. Nice. Um, and then I went to University of Michigan and I did the chemical engineering thing. Mm -hmm. And then basically it just happened that like when I got back, I think it was my senior year too, um, my mom mentioned that Ron had asked if I would be interested in doing that the Mannheim gig, but I would have to audition and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, okay, I got this engineering degree. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I auditioned for it, didn't get the part at first, and then the person who did get it dropped, and I was the first person on their like, short list to call. Nice. Which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Bobby, the guy who was stopping who's the previous keyboard player for that position um called me and was like yeah i'm thinking about calling everybody on the, on the list just to tell them that the main guy dropped but if you want to have a like you can talk for a little bit that'd be good and then 30 minutes later he just he offered it to me how many people would you say are in manaheim orchestra or at least mainly for each show so there are there are the six main band members because it's but one, two, violin, percussion, drums, guitar, bass. Yeah. So there are six band members. Mm -hmm. And then in each state or each city, uh, we hire out local orchestras. Like, some professional musicians have, like, a distaste for this gig. Because yeah. they, they view it as, like, corny. Or, like, just, like, not as, but, I don't know. And it's... It's very publicized. So I think I even saw a Sunday morning episode that was all about Manaheim Steamroller. I think it's cool. I think that just as much as any genre has an audience, they deserve yeah. it. Yeah. No, um, and the thing, like, what gets me is that like, yeah, everyone's so happy at the shows afterwards because we do we do autographs and stuff as mm -hmm. signs after every show. Well, mostly every show. Uh, when we get on, when we get later into the tour, we're all kind of burnt out. But they're all so nice, and there are people that, like, see us every year. There are people that, like, 
oh, you know, I used to listen to you when I when I was a kid, and now I'm taking my kids to. Now, some of the things that I've started doing is like composing scores. Uh, my friend did like a game jam thing where he was making a video game, and so I quickly wrote a couple of songs for that. And then just recently, um, this was actually paid, which is fun. Um, I wrote a movie score for my friend's short film. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that was really, really cool. Oh yeah, seeing it like and playing it side by side is super cool. Yeah.